We were discussing about the management of a female child with anorectal malformation. So, आदि में नमले cloaca अल्ला हुटेले आणे कंडर नदर cloaca आणेगिल we will do an emergency genitourinary evaluation or a colostomy create him or a vagina stomy him urinary diversion him इतनी शेषम six months wait him and we will do a posterior sagittal anorecto vagino urethro lasty इनी इप्पा vestibular fistula अल्ला हुटेले आणेगिल Initially, we will do a colostomy. Colostomy ki shesham, we will wait for about 4 to 8 weeks. Iyori 4 to 8 weeks period le randa kariyengil aana chayya. Onna, we will check for any other related malformations and we will verify that the growth of the child is adequate. 4 to 8 weeks ni shesham. If the child is okay, we will do a limited anorectoplasty. This is the vestibular or vaginal fistula. That is the colostomy. 4 to 8 weeks, we will wait. In the time, we will investigate on whether any other malformations are present. We will verify the growth of the child is adequate. And then we will do a limited anorectoplasty. இன்னிப்ப பெரினியல் பிஸ்டில் உள்ள குட்டியல் ஆனங்கள் directly we can do a minimal posterior surgical anorectal pull through no colostomy is required so this is how we manage a child with fistula child with fistula are categorized into three groups a child with cloaca a child with vestibular fistula and a child with perineal fistula if it is cloaca emergency assessment is done Cholestomy is done, vaginistomy is done and a urinary diversion is created. We will wait for about 6 months and a posterior sagittal anorecto vagino urethroplasty is done. If it is a vestibular fistula, we can go for a cholestomy, wait for 4 to 8 weeks and then a limited anorectoplasty is done. If it is a perineal fistula, directly a minimal PSARP is done. There is no need for a creation of a cholestomy. So the other category of children that is a child with a female child with no fistula. Here we have to get an invertogram done. And just like the other, other um, table, we will assess the distance between the uh, dimple as well as the anal skin perineal skin or the membrane if the distance is less than one centimeter we will go for a minimal PSARP there is no requirement for a cholestomy if the distance is greater than one centimeter initially a cholestomy is done we will wait for about four to eight weeks and then we will do a posterior sagittal anorectal pull through so this is as a whole how we manage a ch female child with anorectal malformation. We will do observation for about 16 to 24 hours. We will get an abdominal USG done. Children are categorized into two main groups. That is with fistula, without fistula. With fistula are categorized into three groups. With cloaca, with vestibular fistula or with perineal fistula. In case of cloaca, emergency assessment is done. A cholestomy is created, vaginostomy is created and a bowel diversion is done. We will wait for about 6 months and the posterior sagittal anorecto vagino urethroplasty is done. If it is a vestibular fistula, a cholestomy is created. We will wait for about 4 to 8 weeks and then a limited anorectoplasty is done. If it is a perineal or a cutaneous fistula, we will directly go for a minimal PSARP. There is no requirement for cholestomy. In case of children with no fistula, an invertogram is done to assess the distance. If the distance is greater than 1 cm, initially a cholestomy is done. We will wait for about 4 to 8 weeks and then a PSARP is done. If the distance is less than 1 cm, then we will go for a minimal PSARP. There is no requirement for cholestomy. So, hope you are clear with both these tables. This is the first time I have to do this.
So please pay attention and learn both the charts. Management edit our essay le chodi kya render. If you draw this table, it would be uh, well noted that you are well versed with this condition. Adi garanam yoru rand tables padi kya naito marakanda. Coming to the pre-operative preparation of the child, you have to place the child nil per orally according to the timing of the surgery and substituted with parenteral fluids as we do in all surgeries. Bowel preparation of the child is done with peglec. Peglec solution that is diluted in the ratio like one sachet in two liter of water. And it is given as 70 ml per kg over 5 or uh, 4 hours. Or it can be also given with normal saline. Bowel wash is done BD daily for about 2 days. So, if you are doing pre-operative preparation, NPO keep in, parenteral fluids start in, bowel preparation with pec leg solution initiative. That is the one sachet in. 2 liter of water, 70 ml per kg over 4 hours ila anu kudukka. Allengil NSI to mix edhattu vayanengil in kudukka. Bowel wash should be done daily twice for about 2 days. Constipation kutik indengil. Then we will do a enema type of thing which is known as glycerin syringe. Adha edha. Glycerin, saline, 1 is to 1 ratio, we mix it or a syringe. If 1 ml glycerin, 1 ml saline, we the syringe. We load it in the OG tube, OG tube. That is the syringe. Nib, uh, connect it the OG tube. Kutide, leke, the, we will push this glycerin. Glycerin it is an osmotic agent that will absorb water. the water content the child can pass stool. hard stool liquefy easy pass So this is known as glycerin syringe. Constipation we will do a glycerin syringe. Where we will mix glycerin and saline in the ratio of 1 is to 1. And all the preoperative medications are to be properly given to the child. So this is about the preoperative management of a child with anorectal malformation. So definitive surgeries in the question we will laparoscopic and we consider Posterior sagittal anorectal pull through as the definitive surgery. In this surgery, we will give importance to levator ani muscle as well as external muscles. The child is placed in prone position during the surgery with pelvis raised. A midline incision is made. From the mid sacrum to the normal anal site. So initially, we will change the position chamber, prone position. Lana, the pelvis elevated, arikana, pillows elevate. Midline incision is made from the mid sacrum to the anal site. So you will change the prone position and the pelvis is elevated with the help of pillows. So we made a midline incision extending from the mid sacrum to the anal site. After that, all the structures are divided in the midline till the rectal pouch is reached. So, we have to layers the structure name on the dis, uh, in the disseminate till the rectal pouch is reached. Once the rectum is reached, it is then opened. We will clearly expose the fistula. It is dissected and ligated under proper light. Rectum is then mobilized, tapered and fixed to the anal skin. At the center of the external sphincter contractions. And then all the muscle layers and skin is closed.